hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel it's jovi here in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys how i made this lovely dress with two sides drape and a waistline cut out you can actually pull it up to cover it if you don't want it open and you can make this a skirt only this video is well detailed from start to finish so if you are interested in this keep on watching and let's get started I used 3 yards of duchess fabric for this dress and I will be using the materials on your screen for this tutorial. The measurements needed for this tutorial is also on your screen. So I started with the lower part of this dress first and I drafted a basic skirt pattern for it. We are drafting this basic skirt pattern because we are going to be using the slash and spread method for this tutorial. I have a well detailed video on how to draft a basic skirt pattern. In case you don't know how to, click on the dialog box that just appeared at the top right of your screen. Or you can check the description box for the link to the video. After drafting it, you get the front pattern ready. So from the picture, you will notice that the draping didn't get to the hemline. It stopped somewhere around the lapsed region. So there will be need for you to measure from your waist to wherever you want your draping to stop. Even if you want it to reach the hemline, measure it first. So mine is actually 16. And as you can see, that is what I am actually marking out. I am marking it out so that I won't pass that 16 so go ahead and mark out two two inches with your tape rule mark it horizontally just the way i am doing in the video mark it out well and make sure they are all equal you can decide to use one inch or one and a half inches depending on what you want but for this um dress i used two inches that is what, what i am using to like mark it out like this so make sure you mark it like so and rule it make the lines visible enough and make sure they are equal after that i went ahead to like start cutting it line by line so at this point i decided to like make the drip to like go around not just one side that is why as you can see in the video i am kind of extending those lines so that i can be able to cut out everything so after that i went ahead to like number it you're supposed to number it number everything so that you won't misplace them so after that i went ahead to like cut it out well like make sure you separate everything they are meant to be in pieces that is what i am doing in the video now so guys after that you can decide to repeat the same thing for the back pattern but if you don't want to you can use your front to trace the back so next place your fabric on fold like so and then start placing those um paper we cut out line by line one after the other remember we numbered it so just place it just the way i am doing on the video after one place two three so next is to determine how many inches gap you want to give it you can decide to like give it uh one and a half inches two inches it depends on what you want but here in this video i am giving it one inch gap as you can see i'm using my chalk and my tape rule and i measure one inch i mark it out i place the next one i go ahead and mark out one inch for the second one i use chalk to like mark it out and i place the third one just be doing it like that till you get to the last one so guys to determine the measurements for the lower part of this dress um the full gown length is 45 minus half length which is 17 45 minus 17 you'll be getting like 28 inches and remember our waist to wear the drape will stop is actually 16 inches so 28 minus 16 12 inches so the length after where my drip stopped is 12 inches so the full length that i'm working with now is 16 times 2 32 plus that 12 inches everything is now 44 inches you can then decide to add like maybe one and a half inches or two inches for your sewing allowance so after that you can go ahead and cross check your measurements to make sure that they are accurate like if you didn't add um seam allowance while drafting you can go ahead to add it now so coming to this down part after the drape go ahead and like mark out your hip measurement minus two inches whatever you get mark it out mark it all through to the hemline like so use your chalk and trace it out trace it all around after tracing you go ahead and cut it like so so here uh, i used my chalk to like trace out the line so that when i take it to my sewing machine i can know where to pleat and where to sew that is exactly what i am doing in this video after that i went ahead to like use my scissors to notch it 
then go ahead to like cut out the remaining part so after cutting it you take off the pieces then get your fabric for cutting the back fold it and then use your tape root to like mark out 1.5 inches or 2 inches allowance for zip after that you get the front that we cut earlier place it and make sure the center is touching that exact place we marked out 1.5 inches just like i placed it then use your chalk to like trace out the two two inches for side drip just as i am doing in the video trace and mark it out so that the pleating of the front will rhyme with the pleating of the back after tracing it out you can then go ahead and cut it like so then after cutting you take it to your sewing machine and start pleating with one inch using the chalk markings as guideline as you pleat you stitch it make sure you maintain the one inch so that it doesn't alter your measurement this is actually the back of the dress so after pleating one side i turned to the other side and i pleated it then for the zip allowance side as you can see i am using my tape rule and chalk to like measure and mark to make sure that when i start pleating that side it will be rhyming with the other side so here i noticed that my uh, zip allowance is kind of like faint so i decided to like use my chalk to make it more visible before i continue pleating pleat it all the way to that um place we marked that our drape is meant to stop and then move over to the other side and repeat exactly the same thing so after that you place the both of them together like so and so through the zip allowance sew it all through to the hemline and then get the front part see those places we marked chalk that is where you will start pleating just the way we pleated the back part make sure you pleat it with one inch to avoid altering the measurements so this is what it looks like after pleating here i am joining the front and the back part together getting it ready for coupling yeah join it together like so and sew through the sides the both sides so here i am stitching the both side after stitching the other side you turn to the other side and stitch it back too so guys at this point if you want yours to be just skirt you can go ahead and like attach an elastic to the waist region or you can go ahead and attach um a skirt zipper to the back zip allowance side or you can even use rope whichever one you wish to use for it after doing for the upper part then the down part you can go ahead and like turn it hem it and that will be all that is if you want it to be just skirt but for this gown if you watch closely i will be using those buyers to turn the front waist region why because it will be open I won't be joining it to, be to the upper part but the back part of it i will be joining it to the upper back part of this dress so as you can see on your screen i have already torn the front part with a bias like so so guys next i will be joining the upper part of this dress to the down part of this dress for the upper part i will be posting the video on how i made the upper part of this dress next week so do well to on your notification bell for when i will be posting it so that you won't miss out so here i have already joined the lower part of this dress to the upper part of this dress that's for the back region so as you can see i already turned the waist region with bias for both the upper and the lower part of the dress and as you can see i want to go ahead and like couple it together that's why i used pin to like pin it down first so i went ahead to like sew it that's more like coupling it together make sure you arrange it the way i arranged it in this video before you start stitching it together please do not forget to on your notification bell for the upper part of this dress i will be posting it next week so after that i went ahead to fix an invisible zipper to the back of this dress i also have a video on how to sew slash attach an invisible zipper to your dress without using a zipper foot so you can click on the dialog box that just appeared at the top right of your screen or check the description box i will be attaching the link there or you can check the comment section so i went ahead to fix the sleeve to the dress i will be posting the video on how i made this bishop sleeve alongside with the video on how i made the upper part of this dress so please do not forget to on your notification bell i will be uploading them next week 
so after that i went ahead to hem the dress please use the exact hem allowance you added while cutting to turn your dress so guys give me a thumbs up subscribe and on your notification bell drop a nice comment too thanks for watching see you in my next video bye